it seems that we have fallen victim to another scheme. Rhoda Osman, also known as the Brick Lady, has been identified as a scammer who manipulates people's sympathy to create fraudulent situations. Her first incident occurred in 2020 when she alleged that she was assaulted by a security guard at a dollar store, resulting in facial contusions, a black eye, and a back injury. Taking advantage of the situation, she started a GoFundMe campaign and managed to collect over $4,000. In her most recent scam, she claims to have been assaulted by a man after refusing to give him her phone number. However, there are no witnesses to support her allegations. Once again, she has created a fictitious girlfriend to solicit funds for her supposed medical bills. This time, she has managed to raise an astonishing amount of over $40,000. Recently, the men featured in the video have come forward to share their side of the story. Right there, bro. Like, coming from the gas station. We just came from the gas station, right? And she was talking about, she got hit with the brick, you know yeah, what I mean? And we was asking. So we just like, we what just happened, what bro? Do we just hit you with a brick. She talking about a guy in a suit, off. you know what I mean? But we saw the guy earlier, though. We, we never knew he was a bad guy, though, you know what I mean? We saw the guy earlier, like we working and stuff like that. So that was around here and stuff like that. That was moving and stuff like that with the girl before she got hit with the brick, you know? So, um... What happened? We just don't know what happened. I think they had like a argument or something like that. She, we just don't know. Before you know? she was trying to fight with another. Yeah, she was trying to fight with another girl right there before she got hit with a freak. You know what I mean? She was trying to fight. You know what I mean? So uh, what happened is we were just out here. We were chilling and stuff like that. We went in the gas station. Right after we came back outside, she was literally she was right there talking so about bad. I got hit with the brick, You know? And uh, we was trying to help her. That's all we was trying to do. You see what I'm saying? We were trying to help her. I called the police and stuff like that. They pulled up. I talked to them. I know they got the video. The police got the video. Yeah, we can we can pull out the video. I was talking just, to the police. She was channel. behind me. You know. What I mean? woman at the center of a viral video who claimed a man threw a brick at her head because she would not give him her phone number is now wanted by Houston police. This story got national attention after that woman live streamed what she claimed was the aftermath on Instagram and started a GoFundMe. Only KPRC 2's Bryce Newberry is talking with the prosecutor on this case tonight. He joins us live near the Galleria with the latest. Bryce. Daniela, Houston police got called to this street in September, and when they arrived, the woman seen in that viral video told them that an Uber driver threw a brick at her head and then tried to kidnap her. But tonight, she has become the focus of this, this criminal investigation because Houston police say the surveillance footage captured by cameras on this street doesn't match her story. Yo, this man just hit me in my face with a brick and all these black men just watch. This video with more than a million likes on the Shade Room's Instagram page captured the moments after what appeared to be a brutal attack in West Houston. Y'all gonna let a man hit me in my face. The woman is 33-year-old Rhoda Osman. What have I ever done to anybody in my life to deserve this? Seen here in tears in a hospital gown. She told the detective that responded that she was hit in the head with a brick after she refused to give her phone number to a guy on the street. And was that verified by any of the evidence that detectives looked at? No, that was not verified. Harris County Prosecutor Keith Houston says surveillance videos from that early September morning show Osman hitting a man first. So she's the one who, the, she was the aggressor? She was the aggressor, yes. And it was a water bottle that hit her, not a brick? He did have a water bottle in his hand, and we think that's what left the mark. According to court documents, she asked someone else to launch this GoFundMe for her recovery, raising more than $42,000. But as the story went viral, a blogger on TikTok called police, alerting them to this 2020 GoFundMe, which claimed a vicious assault by a security guard in Minneapolis. Detective Thornton verified with Minneapolis police that there was no assault done at that time. It was completely fictional. Prosecutors allege theft by deception and believe she would have received all that money had the campaign not been shut down. The violence that I have suffers on September 3rd is just unbelievable. I can't even believe I'm here. They try to leave me for dead. In an Instagram story posted Wednesday, Osman addressed those who have doubted her. I actually have things going on in my life. I actually have real ways to make money. I don't have to get a GoFundMe for money. I actually can earn income because I'm actually educated and I actually am talented. And tonight, a spokesperson for GoFundMe telling KPRC2 GoFundMe has zero tolerance for the misuse of our platform. The fundraiser has been removed from the platform. All donors have been refunded. And Rhoda Osman has been banned from using the platform for any future fundraisers. Osman did not respond when I reached out to her on Instagram this evening. Tonight, she is wanted here in Harris County on that theft charge. Anyone with information on her whereabouts can report that to Houston Police. We're live near the Galleria. I'm Bryce Newberry, KPRC2 News. All right, Bryce. Thank you. Let's
without having a panic attack. But then I got actually attacked physically. As you can see, I have a welt right here. And a little welt right here. Don't worry, those bitches cannot fight. But two black women in their 40s decided to attack me as I was leaving the establishment. Apology must be as loud and as public as the disrespect.